Good morning, Borderlands. My name is Killer6, and today is Friday, and you know what that means? Probably not, because this is the first time I'm doing it. But Friday means Fun Fact Friday. Our special guests today are Laney White and Smashhead. Now, welcome to Fun Fact Friday, ladies and gentlemen, and this is how this works. Each Friday, I will present you guys with a fun and interesting fact, and then we'll dive deeper into it, see what makes it tick, We'll get to the heart of this fact. We will figure out how in the world it could actually be true. So, as you can gather, I'm going to be shooting for the weird, the wild, the wacky, and the downright insane facts that I can gather. And then we, you guys and me, can discuss it. So, now that you know how this works, let's get into today's fun fact. According to SoTrueFacts.com, which is a great site for finding these fun facts, a man once robbed a bank for $1.00. Then he sat his butt down and waited for police to come and arrest him so that he could get free health care. Wow. <laughs> that kind of sums up the problem in America pretty clearly right there. People are so desperate and hopeless that they would willingly get sent to prison so that they could get proper medical attention. And that's just all sorts of fucked up. <laughs> so here's the backstory. This is what really happened. James Verone an unemployed 59-year-old with a bad back, sore foot, and undiagnosed growth on his chest. He needed health care, but he was unemployed and he had no money. So his only option was to get himself locked up and get his health care through the prison system. His uh, thoughts here was that if he could get locked up for three years, he could start drawing his social security when he got out, because that didn't kick in until 62, and you know, then he could just live on easy street the rest of his life after that. Didn't quite work out that way for him. Um, so, <laughs> here's why the system is beyond broken. To keep this man in jail for one year cost the U.S. taxpayers about $23,000. So if we kept him in jail for three years, obviously that's $69,000. On top of that, Mr. Verone wasn't even given the one thing that he wanted. They ended up giving him a lesser charge with a shorter sentence, so, in all likelihood, he was released before he even got the medical attention he needed. Um, now, I'm unable to find any further details about this case, so if you guys know anything about Mr. Roan or about this case, post in the comments below and let me know uh, how things worked out for this guy. Uh, the media likes to cover things when they're fresh. They tend to forget that they need to go back and give us recaps <laughs> or, like, what happened after the fact kind of stories. So... Um, here's, here, here's the thing. This leads us down kind of a dangerous path, right? Because other people, desperate people, will see that simply robbing a bank for a dollar wasn't good enough to get them a sentence long enough for them to get medical coverage, so maybe they need to actually shoot or harm someone to get a judge's attention. And that's a scary thought. The, the thought that somebody might be like, you know what, I need to make this a little more extreme so I can get that prison sentence that I need, so I can get that health care that I need. And that's terrible. That is terrible. Now, here in America, to my knowledge, and you know, I'm no expert on this, but to my knowledge, if you don't have any money, if you don't have a way to pay for your hospital visit, they still can't turn you down if, you know, you're in a life-threatening situation, which would not apply to Mr. Verone here. Because he would walk in and he would say, my back hurts, my foot hurts, and I have a weird growth on my chest. And they'd say, are you dying? And he would be like, I don't know. <laughs> and they would say, well, we can't do anything for you. You don't have insurance. See you later. And that's fucked. That is absolutely fucked. So, I don't, you know, perhaps America needs to take a long-ass look at how it treats its citizens. Because we're a hard-working, underpaid group of laborers and you know we take less vacation time than most industrialized nations we just want life liberty and the pursuit of happiness but sadly if you develop cancer then it's probably cheaper just to trade in your freedom go to prison and hope for the best and that's that's no way for a country to to exist that makes no sense so let me know down in the comments below how would you fix the broken American healthcare system? If you're in a country that has universal tax-covered healthcare, let me know about that, and let me know how you feel about your existing system. 
If you guys enjoyed the video, then please take a second to click that like button and hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.